Hi, we're going to do now another example of choosing a reagent. So here we go, choosing, using acid-base reactions. So we're going to choose a reagent this time. Say that you have on a test a question that says, choose a base that will effectively deprotonate phenol, which is a molecule that I have here. And so I need to choose something to do that. And say that I have in the list of possible bases, I have acetate and I have even choices, right? And these are my choices. So I'm going to draw the reaction and see which of these will work. So first, let's use acetate. So when I do acetate, and I'm probably running out of room so you guys are going to see this now here this too is my reactant side so acid base and again we're going to study which region is the one that works to do this reaction so when i do this too what is the mechanism let's draw this more explicitly to do the proton transfer mechanism that we studied before so here we have lone pairs, right? So and next step will be drawing an arrow, right, from the base to the proton here. And now you're going to assign the electrons here at the bond to the oxygen. So my products are this ion, which is your conjugate base of phenol. That's called phenolate. And then by getting this proton, this is going to become acetic acid. Now this is protonated. And this is acid, so that's the conjugate base. Remember that I'm drawing reactions here, products at the bottom. And so in this is my conjugate acid. All right, now let's analyze pKa's to determine whether this works or not. So the pKa of phenol is 10. The pKa of acetic acid, pKa, is 4.7. And we have said before that the equilibrium is shifted towards the weakest um, acid. The weakest acid will have the largest pKa. So as we see here, the larger pK is this one. So that's the weakest acid. And in other words, this reaction won't work. It won't go to products as I want it to. It will go to reactants, to so shift it to reactants. So if I had, say, um, summarizing here, that would be phenol mass plus some base, some base. If I get phenolate plus now an acid, I want something that will move the equilibrium towards product formation. This doesn't. It is actually favoring reactant sites. So the base I just chose, which is acetate, is doing the exact opposite. So that's not going to work. And notice the numbers. The pKa of my target um, of my acid that I need to deprotonate is 10. So I am looking now. I know that this didn't work and it was a smaller number so now i'm going to try another base uh, whose conjugate acid has a pka that's larger than 10. that's my next step so now i am going to try phenol and i'm going to see if now hydroxide my oh negative works in other words if it is effective to deprotonate phenol so that's what I'm doing next. And let's see. So because what we want is to deprotonate phenol. Now I'll be using, I already said this doesn't work, right? And I was missing here a form of negative charge. So that doesn't work. Let's try the other one. So for the other one, I have starting from phenol, pKa is 10. Now I'm going to use hydroxide. 
in hydroxide ion is this. In drawing, I'm going to draw directly the products, and then I'm going to draw the iris. So products are here, phenolate plus water. And so let's analyze the pKa's again. Um, so we said this is 10. Water pKa is 15.7. Now, analyzing those two, and again, let's draw arrows so that we remember the proton transfer mechanism to remove the proton. So I'm going to draw explicitly this one, and arrows to from the base to the proton, then this bomb breaks, electrons are assigned to the oxygen, is that how I get that? So that's my proton transfer mechanism. And now analyzing pKa is here. This is 10, a phenol, this is 15.7, so that's larger. The equilibrium is now, we know it's shifted to the weakest acid, so the one with the largest pKa. What that says, because the equilibrium is uh, shifted to product is that this base will effectively deprotonate phenol. So I'm choosing that as my answer on my test. This is the one that works. And as a rule, to deprotonate an acid, we want to look for a base that has the pKa of its conjugate acid is larger than this. So something larger than 10 is what would work. And you will have a pKa chart. We do more examples of that, acid-base.